I'm Mike, N2MAK. Recently, there's been a lot of interest in coil antennas, and there's some new options out there too. If you're in the market for one, here's some questions you should ask first. Before I get started, let me make a few things clear. The Wolf River coil was my first antenna, and I've bought a lot from them since. That said, this video isn't sponsored by anyone, and I'm not an affiliate. This is not a review video either, since I haven't used all the antennas I'm going to talk about. This video is simply to highlight a few of the differences, but more importantly, focus on some of the key considerations before purchasing a coil antenna. With that said, let's get to it. All antennas are a compromise, and coils are no exception. But they can be a good option for portable use. You get multiple bands from a single antenna in a small package that can be set up just about anywhere. All right, here's a look at some of the coil antennas that are available on the market now. First up, the Wolf River coils. Another popular one is the Buddy Stick Pro. There's also the Gable antenna. Res Antennas is one of the new manufacturers. In the UK, there's the Slidewinder DX. MFJ just released the 1898 antenna. And lastly, one of the newest is the CHA PRV Portable Resonant Vertical by Chameleon. Here's some questions to ask when it comes to coil antennas. First of all, how much does it cost? Right out of the gate, you're going to want to make sure that whatever you're buying is going to be within your budget. That said, keep in mind that some of these antennas come as a system but others you can buy individual components and build something that's going to suit your needs. Some of them, like the Buddy Stick Pro Deluxe, even comes with the coax. But it is BNC, so keep that in mind. What bands does it cover? Some of these coil antennas will work on higher bands, like 6 and 10 meters. Oftentimes, it's not even using the coil, that's just the whip. Other coil antennas will let you work on lower bands, including 60 meters and 80 meters. Some of these coil antenna systems will cover everything from 6 meters all the way up to 80 meters. How much power can it handle? If you like operating digital, like FT8, this is something you'll definitely need to pay attention to. The Wolf River Coil Take It Along that I have can only handle 20 watts on digital. They make a Platinum Edition, which will handle more, but pay attention if you operate digital or even CW at the power rating for the antennas on the different modes. What kind of whip does it use? The conventional wisdom is that the more metal in the air, the better it is when it comes to antenna efficiency. That said, some of these systems are designed around a particular whip. You need to use it for that particular coil to work correctly, while others will allow you to switch things up and use different whips. How can it be set up? Some systems are really easy to deploy. I know personally that the Wolf River Coil tripod isn't the easiest thing. That said, it's not difficult either. Now, some systems can be set up multiple ways, whether it's a mag mount, a clamp, or a ground spike. Is it easy to use? Some of these antennas can be pretty simple to tune, like the Buddy Stick Pro, which makes it very easy to switch in between taps. However, you do need to adjust the counterpoise length. The Wolf River Coil also has a dual band collar that makes it easy to switch between two different bands. I have this set up on mine, and if you want to work popular bands like 20 meters or 40 meters, it makes it easy to switch in between without having to retune the coil each time you change bands. How portable is it? Are you going to be using the antenna for a parks on the air or summits on the air activation? Do you plan to travel with it and you need it to fit in luggage? These are some things to keep in mind. Lastly, is it durable? If you're going to be using this portable, 
chances are you want to make sure it's going to hold up. Some manufacturers like Chameleon have a solid reputation when it comes to making rugged gear. These are just a few questions to keep in mind when you're doing your research. I've always said when I find the perfect antenna, I'll stop making them and I'll stop buying them. I hope these questions help you figure out what coil antenna is right for your needs and your use. If you haven't yet, please click like, subscribe to my channel. If you got a comment, a question, or there's an antenna I left out, leave it below in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike, N2MAK73.